everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Louisa if you're new here and today I thought I'd do a video where I show you my favorite Depop shops and my favorite small businesses just because I feel like there's loads of really cool ones out there that maybe not everybody knows about and I just was like I need to just show everybody them because I'm obsessed with all of them so I'm gonna put a screen recording of my phone screen next to me so you can see like what I'm looking at and I can show you each of the shops but I basically got a list here and I just thought I'd kind of go through them briefly show you what they have and kind of like some stuff about them and I'll link all of them down below so you guys can go and check all of them out none of this is sponsored these are just genuinely my favorite Depop shops and small businesses so I hope you guys enjoy so the first one on my list is Anna Wesson now she makes a mixture of her own designs such as this top or she has a lot of like vintage pieces that she sourced she often has like lots of afghan coats and like really cool like coats and things like that and yeah that's another one of her designs and i actually have one of her tops i've got this top which i'm absolutely obsessed with and yeah i'm hopefully gonna buy some more of her stuff once i come into a little bit more cash from my job but yes yeah, so that's one of my favorites Moving on to Phoebe White, she does crochet beanies and they have like the little devil ears and I'm obsessed with like hats with devil ears at the moment. I'm definitely gonna get my hands on one very soon, but she's also started making these tops. I came across her in my TikTok for you page, I think, and that's how I found her. But yeah, really, really cool. Different to Anna Weston because she obviously like makes her own stuff. But yeah, I would really recommend Phoebe White. Then I've got Susie Lola, who's actually a YouTuber and makes the best videos. So if you haven't watched her, you have to go watch her. She's like one of my favorite YouTubers. But again, she sells a mixture of her own designs and vintage pieces. So this is an example of some of her own designs. Like I really, really want to get some of these tops. And oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with the sort of like stamp on the tops. I don't know, I think they're really, really cool. And yeah, she's got some really nice other vintage things, like some trousers, things like that. And yeah, I would really, really recommend her. Then I've got Crystal Traverne. Sorry, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, but oh my God, I am actually obsessed with this Depop shop. She sources the most amazing vintage designer pieces. Like honestly, I don't know how she comes across them all, but everything on this shop is stuff I want. Like look at these like moon boots by like Dior or whatever they are. I'm absolutely obsessed with actually everything. I really, really want one of these Fendi bik beanies, bikinis, beanies. Um, but yeah, so I really, really, really recommend this seller. It's got amazing bags as well. Oh my gosh, I just need everything. Uh, who next? Bella Verana. If you don't know about Bella Verana, I don't know what you're doing. She is so cool. She basically makes her own stuff. Like she has a website where she designs loads of her stuff. I don't know if she'll have any of it on her Depop. Maybe she does, I don't know. Um, I'll put in some photos of some of her own designs, but she also has such good vintage 90s and Y2K stuff. If you're looking for 90s stuff, definitely go to at Bella Verana. This is an example of one of her own designs, absolutely obsessed with that top. I've started watching Bella's YouTube videos and her life is what I aspire my life to be like when I'm older. Anyway, moving on to Soph's Shop Clothing. This is another one of my absolute favorite Depop shops. Um, she has a really, really good range of Afghans as well. Um, amazing vintage stuff. I absolutely love this skirt in my bag, but I don't know whether to buy it or not. I don't know. Maybe I will. And she has amazing like chunky knit roll neck jumpers, things like that. And yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with her. Like every single time she does a drop, I'm on there and I'm having a look, seeing if there's anything I want to buy. She always has things with like these like characters on them i don't know where they're from so i don't want to like make an assumption because i have no idea but she always has clothes with these like characters on them and i just think it looks really 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 cool um and yeah definitely gonna buy a huge bundle of things from her when i get paid soon then tamara hawks she has the best vintage air forces like look at them like there's so many of them and they're all in like really, really good condition, vintage, love it. So if you want some Air Forces, but not a basic option, definitely check her out. Again, she's got some amazing 90s clothes, love all of her stuff. Then we've got Holly Berry Depop, again, another staple Depop seller for me. She's got a lot of 90s clothes. She did make some of her own designs. I don't really know if she still 
makes them, but she had this like baby tee with Devon Akoi on it. I was obsessed and I have one of her thin stripy scarves. Love it. Again, would really, really recommend for 90s pieces. Then I've got Becca Morgan or Goo Collective. I have this orange top and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's the perfect going out top. I also figured out a way to like layer it. So absolutely love it. Again, she makes all of her own stuff. I don't know whether she has a website. Maybe she does. Maybe she sells on Depop. I'm not sure. But yeah, definitely check out Goo Collective, one of my favorite small businesses. Susa Musa, again, lots of vintage stuff. And they also do all of their own designs. I don't know if they have their own designs on here. Maybe they do. Yeah, so this is an example of one of their own designs. These like backless tops, absolutely obsessed with them. Then moving on to Foxy's Garms. Oh, these tops, like what I would do to own one of them is insane. Like they always sell out so quickly and it's so annoying, but I really, really want one of her tops. So definitely gonna be trying to get one of them soon. Uh, Lula 12 Jones, absolutely love her tops that she makes. She makes all of her own designs and stuff. And she also came out with these really cool two pieces, which is so cool. Maybe a bit cold to wear them at the moment, but I think they're so nice. You will have definitely seen these. Like, these tops were literally viral in the first lockdown. And those are all of the Depop sellers I'm gonna recommend. I'm gonna move on to like other small businesses that aren't on Depop, but are like still really sustainable and small businesses. Okay, I've just moved on to my iPad just because I have like a list of all of the shops on my phone and I can't multitask like that. But the first small business that everybody should know about is Peachy Den. Like I always talk about Peachy Den on my channel. They have the most amazing stuff. They literally just dropped a new collection as well. They made the, like, the classic cargo pants that they make into like a bright blue and oh my God, I'm so obsessed. They actually had a pop-up shop. Um, it was in Soho. I think they had two different locations, but I went to both of them, obviously got stuff from both of them. But yeah, they make the best basics and they are the brand behind this classic jumpsuit that everybody has. I have one, I'm obsessed. And yeah, you have to know about Peachy Den. Um, can't recommend them enough. Definitely my favorite small business of all time. Okay, then moving on to Serotonin Vintage. Again, another one of my favorites. They have a shop on Brick Lane, but they also have an online website. So if you can't go to the shop, you can go on online. They have the best selection of vintage designer. This jumper is from there. Everything is just insane. Like, look at that. Like, every single time I go in, there's something I want and it's so annoying, but it's actually not too expensive. It's very, very, very fairly priced for the stuff that you're getting. So yeah, I would 100% recommend Serotonin Vintage. And they have like a brother store is how they described it to me, which is called 194 Local, which is also on Brick Lane. But again, they also have like an online website and they have a lot of like menswear pieces. I personally like to buy men's clothes, so you never know. <laughs> might buy something from here. They're the company behind the amazing baggy military trousers that I need to get, otherwise I will just pass away. But yeah, 194 Local and Serotonin Vintage. I think they're owned by the same people. I'm not really sure. I can't really remember. I think they, I think 194 is like their brother store, something like that, I'm not really sure. Oh, and Depop seller that I forgot to mention that's obviously also on Instagram is Glow Nick Depop. She went to my school, so hello Nicole if you're watching. But yeah, she has the most insane 90s pieces. I'm just gonna go to the Depop just cause like the Instagram is different. But yeah, this is her Depop. She has the most insane 90s pieces, amazing like DKNY jumpers. She does a lot of pop-ups in Edinburgh. So if you guys are looking for a pop-up in Edinburgh, definitely go. Um, yeah, absolutely obsessed with her. I really want to get some pieces. Thing is, I'm recommending, I'm recommending loads of these shops but I haven't actually ever like bought from a lot of them just cause I haven't had like the funds to be able to afford them. But I just can't wait to be able to buy from all of them. Um, okay, going back to some other small businesses. I've really been into like the small cropped tops with like long sleeves. And there's a company called Teriyaki that make them and they just make like really like short, I don't know how to describe them. They're just like sleeves that you can like wear over a top. I really, 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 really want to like pre-order some and get some made. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I think it's so cool. And then I think that there's another company that does them called Gina Cor... 
yes, sorry, I don't know if it's from company, it's not company, like a person that she's making them, and anyway, whatever, she also makes sleeves. I can't decide whether I want some from here or from teriyaki, but I just, I'm just obsessed with them. Then I've got Nippy Studios, which I think is made by two friends, I'm not really sure, but they make the most insane sustainable pieces, like just look at that two piece, I need it in my life. Um, they have like a lot of good basics as well, such as these like khaki tops, things like that. Also, I'm really sorry if you can hear the rain, it's quite rainy and my room's in the attic so you might be able to hear it. Anyway, they also made this set, like they had a collection which had like loads of pieces in this like print and I was just so obsessed with it. I didn't get my hands on it, but hopefully somebody will be reselling on Depop. Also that print is just insane. I really, really love Nippy Studios. And then I've got Bean Baby again. I don't think it's crochet, but she makes the little like devil hats. Um, like these, I really, really want a little devil hat. I think they're really cool. Ooh, there's like balaclavas with like bunny ears. That's cute. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed. I need some in my life. Anyway, that's Bean Baby. And that brings us to the end of my list of all of my favorite Depop shops. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed and found this useful. Um, let me know what your favourite Depop shop slash small businesses are down below and if you have any recommendations because obviously I'm always on the hunt out for new clothes shops. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Be sure to subscribe if you want some more fashion, fun, lifestyle content. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!